Normally, I'm not unfutty when it comes to German beer. So let's see how this English brewery fares with its German classic. clock and from Camden Town Brewery we have a can of their unfussy unfiltered lager coming in at 4.9% ABV now I've got a can of this from Waitrose um, I think it's like a couple of quid a couple of quid for a can out of Waitrose um, this is Camden Town's take on that famous Calabere the traditional German Keller beer, the unfiltered lager. Now, they've um, it's three malts, three hops in this beer. So we've got um, on the hops, you've apparently got the pearl, the Callista, and the Spalt Select. And on the malts, you've got the Pilsner malt, the Munich malt, and you've got a torrified wheat. So, without further ado, let's crack it open. Let's get it into the glass. And let's see what it's all about. Obviously, we all know about Camden Town, um, the brewery. So we don't really need to uh, go into the history. Obviously owned by AB and Bev now. So there we go. It's in the in the glass and I, I poured it quite aggressively because it's got a big glass there so I wanted to promote a nice foam head um, first impressions it's yellowy golden it's cloudy which you should expect from a Calabere we've got a beautiful four finger white type foam head but that's because I um, poured it aggressively it is absolutely hammering it down outside as you can hear um, there's carbonation, very, the carbonation is very, very little, tiny pinpricks, I don't know if you can see that right close up, let's have a look, little pinpricks of carbonation, and remember this is a non-nucleated glass, so without further ado, let's get the aromas, I really am getting sort of a tangerine type smell from this. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of tangerine there. A bit of lemon. Grassy. That you expect from like a, any sort of German beer that, that distinct grassy sort of aroma but it's definitely some might say it's a bit little tropical fruit but it's, uh, I'm getting tangerine definitely getting tangerine right without further ado let's dive in give it a try it really looks good in the glass doesn't it really does look good so without further ado cheers it's malty it's dry and it's bitter that's for first impressions it's yeah it's like you've bit into a tangerine and it's the tangerine piff gives that bitterness there's the grassiness there it really does take the saliva out of your mouth your my mouth is 
it's really really dry at the moment this is a good beer this is a good beer for a summer's day definitely but, and there's a massive but here. Usually we're pra praising Camden up for their take on lagers, and I think uh, they're one of the best, perhaps, la UK lager producing breweries. You know, their lagers, their hells, their pills, they're very, very good at it. They're not very, very good at this Calabir. It might look like a Calabir, but it's certainly it's too dry to be a German Kellerbeer. A German Kellerbeer has a little bit more sweetness. Um, as an unfiltered lager, okay, that's what they've called it. And you can interpret that different ways. But in their blurb, saying it's their, their, their sort of their, their take on a German Kellerbeer. Unfortunately, it's, you know, it's n this is not a patch on a good German Kellerbeer. You sort of get something like Eyinger Kellerbeer and put it up against this. There's just no comparison. All in all, a very, very good beer. You know, Camden will sell loads of this. They'll make millions out of it. Um, people will buy it. Um, I've bought it. I've got a few more cans as well. I didn't just buy the one can. I bought a few cans and we will drink them. Um, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's it's a good beer. You know, there's very, very few beers that Camden have brought out that, you know, that aren't that good really I think that, that what was it that silly something like week night whatever it was what a load of shite that was when it week night beer or whatever it was some stupid uh, tasted like coloured water didn't it um, apart from that everything else it, it's been good you know I haven't tried the Marmite beer yet I'm trying to get hold of a can of the Marmite beer um, but yeah um, all you people out there that love Camden, and the best thing about Camden is they haven't gone down the brew dog route. You know, they might be owned by AB and Bev, but they're still producing beers their way without having, you know, AB and Bev making them change the recipes. You know, brew dog as they got bigger, they've just basically started to scrimp on the malts. You know, so punk IPA is now 5.4%. I don't know how they can get away with calling it an IPA nowadays. You know, 5.4% an IPA, you know, give over. You know, an IPA should be over 5.5%. You know, it used to be 6, it went down to 5, 6, it's now 5.4. I think it's disgusting, but that's my views on Brewdog. But this is solid. If you like a real dry, bitter beer, go out and buy it. Um, so, look, get that. I, I, I found it in Waitrose, I don't know where else it is. You know, I haven't really looked. So, go out, get yourself a can, try it, see what you think, leave me a comment below. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches fireworks and always drink responsibly. <coughs>